As Talisman Sabre 2023 approaches, the Australian Army strengthens its capabilities through Exercise Capital OTP. Soldiers from the 3rd Battalion and 2nd Cavalry Regiment deployed to the Townsville Field Training Area, collaborating with mechanized infantry and some of their 59 M1A1 Abrams main battle tanks against simulated enemies. This pivotal exercise serves as important preparation for the upcoming joint military exercise with US and partner forces. The deployment of the M1A1 Abrams showcases its remarkable technical capabilities. Operated by a four-person crew, these imposing tanks weigh 62 tons and measure 9.83 meters in length, 3.65 meters in width, and 2.89 meters in height. Powered by a gas turbine engine generating 1500 horsepower, the M1 Abrams demonstrates impressive mobility, reaching speeds exceeding 60 km per hour on the road, and demonstrating cross-country capabilities of up to 40 km per hour. With an operational range of over 400 km, the tank is well equipped with a 120mm M256 smoothbore cannon, a 12.7mm M2 HB QCB machine gun, and two 7.62mm MAG-58 machine guns. To further enhance survivability in complex terrains, the Australian Defence Force has acquired the Tank Urban Survivability Kit Tusk, specifically designed for the M1 Abrams. This kit highlights the force's adaptability and operational effectiveness, providing additional protection and capabilities to the tank. In addition to the Tusk, the deployment is supported by seven M88A2 Hercules armored recovery vehicles and heavy tank transporters. These assets play a vital role in ensuring recovery operations, facilitating the evacuation of heavy combat vehicles, and providing crucial logistical support for sustained operations during the exercise. Through Exercise Capital OTP, soldiers not only enhance their skills, capabilities, and collaboration with international partners, but also adapt to the evolving challenges in readiness for Talisman Sabre 2023. This joint exercise, involving 13 nations and over 30,000 military personnel, serves to strengthen combat readiness, foster interoperability, and advance collective defense capabilities.